Stavanger's Stavanger? I'm saying Stavanger. Stavanger or Stavanger? Stavanger. Okay. Zero three years. <laughs> what is this? Story? I don't know. Christmas shop is insane, but look at these cute little birds. Where, oh, actually, I actually thought they were penguins. They're not. Hold on. I have to choose between you and the hat. It's the hat. Greetings from Stavanger. We woke up early and went up on deck around 5 a.m. to watch our sail into Stavanger. We had a cup of coffee and sat up on deck. It was a bit of a chilly, overcast morning and a bit breezy, so we wore our Kelly Hansen rain and wind jackets. Got to try those out. It was really nice to watch the sights as we came into town. We sailed really close to some of the buildings as we approached the port. This was a different port compared to some of the others that we'll see later in Norway in that there was more of a city scene and we saw a lot of buildings and bridges as we came into the town. Stavanger is the third largest city in Norway, although its population is relatively similar to that of Lansing, Michigan, where we're from. It was also really cool because we did a turn and backed into the port. It was a pretty small opening where the ship went and actually docked in the city. Today is one of the two port days that we don't have an excursion booked. So we're excited to venture off on our own and explore Stavanger. Greetings from Stavanger or Stavanger? Like, uh, how is it? Like, I've heard. I've heard Stavanger, I've heard Stavanger. Um, I think it's Stavanger. Thanks, Stavanger, but we're not sure. Maybe we'll find out today. As of right now, the gardeners are going Stavanger. Emily, did it ever get dark in the night? Not really. I don't think so. I, I'm a pretty heavy sleeper, so once I was out, I was out. I didn't see the light, I didn't see the darkness. I, I took a picture at, I think, 11 11. Um, it was right before I went to bed. I asked Scott for my phone because I could still, like, we had all the lights off in the room and the curtains open, and it was still light outside. I mean, the sun had set, I think, but you could still, I could still see the water, I could see the railing, I could see the chairs out on the deck at 11 11. Crazy. And then I woke up in the middle of the night. I don't think it ever got dark. Yeah, I woke up in the middle of the night around 2 o'clock, and yeah, it was not dark. <laughs> I mean, it was like cloudier. It wasn't like sunny by any means. But. Yeah, it wasn't, it was, I don't know, but you could definitely see everything outside. Yeah. Like it wasn't dark, dark. Even 4 a.m. we had an alarm and it was light out already, even before the sunrise. So yeah, yeah I don't think it ever got dark. Speaking of sunrise, we're finally seeing some sun peek in. As you was seeing from our video docking the port, it was very overcast, very windy. I'm not gonna have my fingers crossed. Like the second we get down there, it's probably gonna be cloudy again. I mean, and today it's not really a big deal. No. As long as it's not raining knock on wood, uh, I think we'll have a good day. Yeah, so gonna have a good balcony. Gonna have a good day. What are we gonna do first though? When we leave the room, ma'am. Windjammer! Windjammer! Yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast and uh, head out to port. I'm hungry. We'll see you out there. <laughs>
So when you look up Stavanger like photos, like for cruise ports, this is like what I always see is this little neighborhood that we're walking up. Like and the camels, the old Stavanger. Yes, and it is a very large oh, climb. Oh, you see the ship behind us too. Hello, Anthem of the Seas. Yeah, it's a steep. The photos so, that you yeah. see don't show how steep it is. Oh, there's like this cool Buddhist thing here. They don't show you like how steep this really is. It's very cool. of our uh, must-dos in Stavanger is Starbucks, which uh, need the mug. we need the mug, basically. Not so the mug. so I think we're going to be heading our way to Starbucks and going to like the main town and seeing what's going on there. So lots of wildlife here in Norway in Stavanger, you know, we saw the cats and now uh, we got our swans over here and more in this pond over here. Another statue too, lots of statues. Emily, what, what you doing there? Sitting on a gator. Are gators native to Norway? It's actually they're all originating from. Really? No, I know. Even if you're not in Florida, you can't escape them. <laughs> Next, we went to the Stavanger Cathedral. This cathedral was built in 1125 and is the oldest cathedral in Norway. It was under construction during our visit, so we weren't able to go inside or get too close to the building, but you could tell that it was really beautiful. It is Sunday and we're noticing a lot of places are either Delayed start opening because we're here so early, or they're just straight up closed today. A lot of places are closed on Sunday. Yep, on Sunday. Sunday. Yes. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I mean the weather is great though. We're really really comfortable, not hot at all, and walking these cobblestone streets is really cute. There's a lot of cute things around here. We're it just... is really it's super cute. I wish it was not Sunday because I think this place would be a lot of fun if it was everything was open. But it's a super cute town. We just smelled a really good bakery again. They don't open till ten. 
We got off the ship at eight. Bakery, not opening until ten. I, I know. There's another bakery down the on this down this alleyway right here where it says the Mexican Mexico restaurant. Uh, we're gonna go down this alleyway see if we find another bakery. But yeah, we're just kind of exploring. Exploring. It's a really really it's a nice, nice day. day. Here we are in the Stavanger city center. It is Sunday and we have confirmed all shops are closed on Sunday. Bummer, but that's okay. We're having a great time. Yeah, and I mean, not everything is closed. So we were able to go to the Starbucks and get our mug and the restaurants are open. And then there was also a few like convenience store type places that were also open as well. So we were able to pop into a little shop and uh, get some treats out here at one of the bakeries. Nothing really opened until 10 a.m. We found a, I found a, I found it. I'll take credit for it because it was awesome. <laughs> okay, what's funny is you can take credit, but what's ironic is Scott made us walk almost a mile to one after we had walked right past another right location here. of it that it's, was right here. Where I'm, we're actually staring but at But I will say. It was, a, it was a cute walk. It was a cute walk and the location that we went to was like three times bigger than the one that's over here. And it had probably a third of the people there and they were all local. So we were the only, um, tourists I yeah. think that were at that location so it was all cool people spot. from Norway coming in to get bakery and what was it called items. Kennel Snurin Kennel Snurz Kennel Snurin yeah I think it means the cinnamon roll yeah. in Norwegian and we had one of those and it was really good and then the other item we had I'm trying to remember what it was Do you remember Liz I think it was a soul skin bowl I'm not I'm sure I'm not saying it right um but it was basically like a cinnamon roll that had a custard dollop in the center of it like a vanilla custard Got a helicopter over us, yeah, interrupting. Probably a tourist. It's not me interrupting this time, it's the helicopter. Didn't you Google translate it? It says something about the sunshine or something, Is that, right? Yeah, when I Google translated, it said that it was called a sunshine bowl. And so I think because it looks like a bowl of the cinnamon roll with the circle of custard in the middle is kind of yellow and looks like a sunshine. So I think it was a, sun, a sunshine bowl. It was really good. to the bakery we went for another little walk and we found a, I would say like a convenience store wouldn't you say Emily um, kind of like a what you would find at a gas station or a 7-eleven yeah um, but this one was a Norwegian store called Narvison maybe Narvison yeah Narvison, Narvison I'm looking right at it yeah and so that was open at 10 so we were able to go in and we looked around and we bought a few different things that we were going to try from the Narvison so, should we do a quick unbagging and see what we got? Let's yes. do it. All right, Emily, you pull out the first item. What did you get? Oh, okay. So, this is one that I wanted. I saw they had some, like, Norwegian candy. Yes. I can hold it up. And you. I just really like the packaging of it. Um, it's like caramels, I think, but it's called Smorbuk. Smorbuk? It's the original since 1935, according to what I'm reading on the back here in Norwegian. I'm getting really good at reading Norwegian, by the way. So those look like some sort of a soft caramel, maybe. Do you want to pull out the next item? Oh, this one's kind of goofy. Um, yesterday at the cruise, I got to do some Sudoku, and I saw the Sudoku book um, in Norwegian. And some of these get really intense. They get up to like 16 squares. Wow. Instead of the typical nine square Sudoku, I've also got some 12 square Sudokus. I'm excited Pretty to cool. see how these turn out. The, uh, the, the Schooner Lounge piqued your interest in Sudoku again. Yes. And I think we talked about in yesterday's vlog how she just crushed the one that they had at the, the brain training game yesterday. So We figured it was kind of a cool concept though because you can see from the cover it's in Norwegian. So it's obviously something we got here. Um, the instructions are in Norwegian, but because it's all number based games, Emily can still play it, even though she doesn't speak Norwegian, so that's kind of a fun idea. Oh, this is one of the beverages. This is oh. the beverage I got to share with mom. It's called Solo Super Tropisk, so it's like a, we think it's going to be pineapple and grapefruit. Should we try it now, since that is something that Let's do is it. a drink? Should we crack it open? I don't know if it's going to be carbonated or not. Oh, it sounds like it. It sounds carbonated. It sounds carbonated. 
live reaction. Oh, it's fizzy for sure. Fizzy. Emily doesn't have a poker face, so you'll know instantly if she likes it or not. I know my bottle that I opened earlier, see, but the they're very tricky. Are very hard. They're hard to open. I use some muscle. Well, it's like they have this extra tab that you have to rip apart. What do you think? It's okay. It's okay. She doesn't like it, I don't think. It's okay. It's not bad. The carbonation's throwing me off. I think I would have preferred it to be uncarbonated. And what are, what are your thoughts? Well, I like it. Fruit, good. Carbonation, good. It's pretty good. You want to try it, Scott? No, thank you. I haven't. There's something in there for me. This. Oh, what is that? It is, uh, does he think it's pear? It's so it's Oscar style, and I, I looked up that bottom word underneath, and that is, I believe, pear. So I think it's a pear-based drink. It's a Norwegian drink as well. Yeah, it has the Norwegian flag. The Norwegian flag is all over it. I'm like, okay, I'm in Norway. I gotta have this Norwegian pear drink. It says since, look at the cap of it. I know. Oh my God, it's so cool. So my amazing wife is gonna open it for me oh. while I'm holding the camera here. Do you want me to take the camera or do you want me to like feed it. this oh, to you? I got it, you don't, <laughs> no, we don't have to go that deep. Okay, see, okay, let me just show this really quick though. See how these stay attached when you open them? You have to like- Maybe, that's the, that's the strategy. Oh. Then you can reclose it so oh. it stays fresh. Maybe, maybe you're not supposed to it's rip like, it off. It's like the water that we had in London. I see, so that's smart that it actually just hangs yeah. on. I've yes. been like ripping them apart like a badger. Uh, this is <laughs> a non-alcoholic pear soda drink, Norwegian style. Cheers. Let's see how it is. Oh my gosh, these seagulls are crazy. <laughs> okay. It tastes like something I've had before. It's, I can't quite put it. It smells familiar. I can smell something familiar. It's like some. About it. It's more limey than Emily anything. Wants to try if you wanna. It smells. You know what? I I've think had this drink before. Epcot. Like club one of cool those drink, yeah. club cool type drinks. I think that's. I think that's right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and it's not bad. Yeah, I think it I've, tastes better than it smells. I think mm -hmm. I've tasted something really similar to you. I'm not mad about it, but Elizabeth, you nailed it though. That is like a club cool type drink. Um, I can't think of which one now, but no, well, it might have been this. Maybe to be honest, um, I enjoy it though. It's really good. Yeah, it has an interesting flavor. You can definitely the pear almost has like a artificial banana flavor to it, I but definitely bananas. like pear. No, it's yeah, not banana. I know, I know. <laughs> but it's kind of similar to that. It's interesting. I'll it's not I'll super say, sweet either. Second sip of this is much better. I like the solo super better. Well, it's my well. poker face. You can't. Sorry. Wow, <laughs> I was about to get destroyed on this video. All right, what else? I know there's a couple more things in that bag. It's a long, it's a long segment. The solar super is better. We got, I don't know how you're even gonna. Oh, so this is cool. So it's like a 1920s old chocolate biscuit Vic bar. Lunch? Lunch? I'm not gonna try. I'm butchering. You can it. only get this in Norway, Denmark, and I believe there's one other country. Sweden. Sweden, yes. Um, so we had to go for that. And I'm excited. This is the thing I'm actually the most excited for. Yeah, it almost, I thought it was like going to be a Kit Kat bar the way it was shaped. Oh, oh, drink fallings. The drinks are falling. More of, <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I do think it's going to be like a Kit Kat. I think it's like a, like an off brand, like the Freya brand Kit Kat, but we'll find out. Yep. And then there's one more item. Yes, it's the Peanut Cube. Peanut Cube. It kind of looks like it's the, maybe uh, the birds are going crazy, cream. by the way. Yeah, I think I agree with what mom's saying. Kind of so butterfinger. We're not thing. sure, but it kind of looks like a butterfinger center surrounded by maybe like just a peanuts and chocolate. But it's like separate outer... squares. Oh, yeah. are they? Is that what the cubes are? I think so. Or I don't know. It feels like a bar. You can at least tear it apart. It maybe you like... can break it. We'll, we'll find out. We'll open them up and find out later. But right now, we've already had our cinnamon roll and our sunshine bowl so we've already had so some carbonated sodas some, and yeah we've had some sweets this morning so we're gonna wait to try these yes. things later but we'll let you know how they but are i am looking at a mcdonald's so here's the thing like mcdonald's yeah unhealthy kind of crappy whatever but with all that being said we've all had all this food i keep saying like i'm staring at these things i'll show you in the next segment here but i'm staring at a mcdonald's and they sell something called an El Maco. Um, <laughs> it's called an El Maco. And there's something about McDonald's and like 
foreign places, you know, to, to the United States. Like I stopped at one in London, they had a Skittles McFlurry on the menu and their chicken nuggets were kind of different, things like that. Um, I've been to one in Canada when I was a teenager where I got a pizza at a McDonald's. So I feel like I have to stop in this McDonald's and see what they have, right? It's, 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 I mean, it's the most American thing I can do is go to the McDonald's in Norway. So we'll take a look at that and do some more exploring fun day in Stavanger. We did end up going to the McDonald's and I ordered the El Maco, which is like a, a taco burger basically. Yeah, tortilla chips, salsa, Sour cream, cream and all that. Yeah. It's so crazy. And Liz got the kids meal filet o fish. It was a filet o fish happy meal. Yeah. Have you ever heard of that? It was a happy fish meal. And look at those fries. She got sweet fries. Sweet potato fries. Yeah. And Emily, what'd you get? Okay, I don't know if you know this. I'm a really big fan of M and McFlurries. So I got a non-stop McFlurry, which is it looks like M&M's. It's kind of like M&M's. They got a bit of a different flavor though. Let's see how this El Maco burger goes. Here we go. It's crunch when you took a bite. It's really crunchy. But it's really good. <laughs> I like it. She did find a store that is open and oh my, look at Emily. She's ready. She's ready to do some shopping. And oh, look at that. I love it. I kind of want that. As you know, anyone knows me, I'm a sucker for anything. I do want everything in the gift shop. But Liz, speaking of wanting everything in the gift shop, we got our Stavanger mug at Starbucks earlier. And she just saw this cute Norway mug that she wants to buy in here. So, you know, not only do we have the Starbucks mugs, now we're possibly adding additional non-Starbucks mugs. Battle. What are you guys doing here? I'm getting ready for a battle. <laughs> you guys are so weird. <laughs> We're in the next shop that we found. And look, it's Santa's workshop. Christmas and summer is happening, baby. Oh, what's this? Ooh. You know I'm a sucker for hats and I'm loving these Norwegian hats. Might have to walk out with one today. Look at them, they're so awesome. This shop has three floors. It's just loaded with trolls and it's also loaded with Christmas. Holy cow. When they said Santa's workshop was here, they meant it. Uh, there's holiday sweaters, there's ornaments, cool uh, wall decorations. I was not expecting seeing this today.
going with the Fried and Lund Juicy IPA. And you have some kind of cider thing, right? Uh, pear cider, I think. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That was an awesome day in Stavanger. We're wrapping things up. We're gonna be boarding the ship here. All the shore is like in an hour from now, I think. I think so, yeah. And so, and a lot of people are coming back to the ship right now. Yeah. Awesome day. Yeah, we couldn't really ask for better weather. It was a little overcast, but it was very comfortable. No rain or anything like that. Um, yeah, it was really great. Just, su just super cool. We thought about doing like a hop on, hop off, and I'm honestly glad we didn't. Yeah, Stavanger is really walkable, so we were able to go and explore the town and see pretty much everything we wanted to. So it was yeah. great. It was really great. And uh, this stretch behind us is very cool. A lot of restaurants and bars. They're all they're all open today on Sunday. Not all the shops are. So they didn't open till later, like around yeah. afternoon. So yeah. So we just had a nice uh, local beer and a local cider. They had music playing. It was it was really nice. One interesting thing we observed though is like the smoking. Lots of smoking in Europe. I feel oh, like yeah. ashtrays on every single table that were outside. I know. But... I didn't even notice at first that that's what they were. I thought they were candles. Very cool. We bought some. Like we went to some souvenir shops you know got, we bought got a troll bought a few things i have a new hat right I, you love the hats yeah the um, troll. i got a winter hat yeah i got a hat i got i got a little moose keychain it's wearing a little sweatshirt this is maybe we'll show our here. stuff later we'll do yeah, a, maybe, yeah. a haul in the room but yeah and we still haven't ate those snacks that we talked about either so we gotta get into those we still have a half a day still on this ship so let's go have some fun as we went to board the ship it was nice that they had ice cold water waiting for us but more importantly for scott they had sorrento's pizza waiting for us Day three, haven't had any Sorrentos yet. Well, that's about to change. Why not? Jazz hands. Number 10, baby. How fast did it take you? Eight minutes. Wow. Eight minutes. All correct. Don't worry. What you got there, Liz? I got a tuna sandwich from Cafe Promenade. That looks really good. I have slice number 11. <laughs> Royal Theater. Oh, oh, what's this? <laughs> Hello. So we're just walking here on our deck seven, going back to the room. We're going to change into our swimsuits. You know, it's been fun. Like, it was a tiring day, you know. We woke up pretty early. And then, you know, we spent six and a half hours in Stavanger. Stavanger. I think it was Stavanger. Stavanger? I think that's what it ended up being. <laughs> There's no real verdict on it. Stavanger? I've still got my Sorrentos. You know, I still have had like five slices of Sorrentos today. And I don't think that's going to be the end for tonight. So let's get into those swimsuits and hit the hot tub. We are in the hot tub. Don't know how this is going to pick up audio wise. You know, I like to start every segment with that. And it's going to be very windy. <laughs> We did our usual gardener stuff coming back from the ship. We did, uh, what was the four o'clock trivia, Emily? The quiz. That would be the nostalgia trivia, oh, which yeah. for being the youngest people, probably the youngest collective table yeah. there, we were in top three. We were, we top, were top three. Top three. I don't know if we got a second or third because they just asked basically two points higher than what we had and one group had it. So we might have been tied for second, yep. we might have been third, we don't know. Top three, that was in the Schooner Bar, which is a great bar, love that place. But then yeah, it was like us and a bunch of, like a lot, a lot of, of old people. Groups. Yeah. And I'll tell you, like this ship, people love their quizzes. Like mm. it is not, I wouldn't say like more intense, more competitive, but a lot more participation. Yeah, there's a lot of people. On this ship than any other Disney ship we've done. You notice this because every now and then someone's gonna just keep the pencil and it's only day three. The pencils are quickly disappearing. Yeah, what do um, they refer to it as right now? Currency. They're pencils? saying pencils are currency. Um, like currency on this ship. Um, yeah. at, the like last, yeah. at the last couple we went to, like, they are begging for the pencils back. They were running out of pencils. Yeah, we told some people in the, the next quiz we did, we went to um, another trivia. and they At the 5 o'clock quiz? The, no, it wasn't at the 5 o'clock quiz. It was... We've done a lot of trivia tonight. It was the last trivia, the five o'clock quiz you listened before. It was the 70s music, name that too. But they were like telling people, just use your phone, just write, yeah. write your answers and you note on your phone. 
Um, because we're out of pencils. Yeah, so a lot of trivia tonight, as you just heard, because we did, there's a daily five o'clock quiz in the music hall? Is it the music hall. Music hall oh, always is, there. yes, it was, it was when we did the, the two times we've done it. It has been in the music hall. But um, here's the thing, is that it seems like um, the music hall is bad luck for trivia for the Guardians. Because every time we've been in there doing some trivia, we do really bad. I think the schooner bar is our spot. We do yep. better in the schooner bar. Not like that bar better. And up. if it's in the music hall, eh, it might not be our best. Three quizzes. And uh, right now we would normally be having dinner. But we went for early dinner today at the Wind Jammer. Just to try it out. Roped up the jammer. We roped. Yeah. I said we have to go rope up the jammer. Oh, they're closing. They're closing down the hot tub. So we'll pick this back up. Here's my new view at the back of the ship, just hanging out in the solarium. Quite possibly the coolest spot on the ship right here. I kicked out of the hot tub because the outdoor pools are closing at 8. Which I thought no. they were, oh yeah, the outdoor ones were closing early. We thought the whirlpools were open later. So then we went to the inside pool and that was closing at 8. So now we're in the solarium which is like the adults only. But this is open until 1. Uh, exactly. 1 or 11, and this is actually the better spot. We thought yeah. this closed early. So. And it's great, because we've yeah. got the nice views right at the front of the ship again. Yeah. Dinner, we did the wind jammer, and it was fine. Like, I would prefer that kind of meal or like a buffet style for lunch. Or than breakfast. Or breakfast. Yeah. But, you know, we've enjoyed every meal at the wind jammer. We enjoyed breakfast today. We enjoyed lunch on the first day. So we thought, oh my god, I just realized we've had every meal possible oh, yeah. at the wind jammer. <laughs> already I guess so. in the first three days. Three days in. Yeah. But I liked it. I mean, we're here on the ship for a long time, so we thought, let's try the Windjammer for, for dinner, and yeah. while it I wasn't mean, my favorite, it wasn't bad by any means at all. What I will say is the Windjammer has a lot of options, so there's a lot of really good choices. They seem to like really mix it up and keep things fresh, like there's always something different going on. Um, so like tonight was Italian night in the dining room, there was Italian night in the Windjammer too. Yep. They had some of the same menu options as the main dining. For me personally, I just really like the seated meal of having someone bring me my food. I find the buffets can be a little bit overwhelming. There's with a lot of people and you know, just trying to find your table and find your food and figure out what you want and then getting it back there and then getting your drink and, and all of those things to me is just feels more stressful. For sure. So For sure. So but it was good. We might do it again. Because like because sailing out of the fjords, like it might be kinda cool to be out there because you have window seating. Yeah, I mean, even inside in the wind jammer, you have floor to ceiling windows looking out at the ocean. So, yeah. I mean, there's really great views up there. And we're just kind of chilling tonight, doing a little uh, pool time, as you can see here. We and just, then we're going to have to wrap it up for our game show at night. At our game right? show at night. So What's the game, game show? show? Do you remember? Uh, the Fill in the blanks. Fill no, in the blanks. It was like blankety blank or yeah. something like that. It should be a lot of fun. We yeah. love the game shows. This one apparently, though, is like PG-13. It said wow. parental guidance. Like, only appropriate for kids 13 and older. So well, we'll see how I, that goes. We'll see if you can handle it, Scott. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We got the drinks coming from the bartender. Uh, next video will probably be our recap. So thanks for watching again. We'll talk to you yeah. in, in like two seconds. The kind lads behind this bar are making my next drink. Look at them. Working hard. Yeah, they know they want to make a good Scotty G drink right there. day of eating and doing all sorts of fun stuff I promise this is my last slice of the day of the day just the day so that's gonna wrap up another day of this awesome Norwegian cruise vacation it's almost 10 o'clock <laughs> which is insane to think 
Sunset, I think, at like at 10 30, 10 40 or something tonight. I think it was later tonight. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like maybe 11, 11, 11, 11 yeah. And the sunrise is at 3 30. And like we said last night, it never even got dark. Even though the sun set, it was still kind of like a twilight level yeah. dark for the whole night. It's very like, cool. Yeah. It seems lame, right? That we're getting ready for bed right now, but. On these cruises, you're waking up so early because you want to see stuff, you know, you want to see the sunrise. Yeah. We're, we're going to the fjords tomorrow morning, so we want to be up for that. So, and we've been full full of stuff. Man, we've been up since 4.30 already today. Yeah. So, and but, then we walked all around Stavanger, and we've been having fun on the yeah. ship. So, fun I'm day. I'm ready to sleep. Yeah, blankety blank, though, was actually pretty blankety fun. Blankety it was kind of fun. I like it. Blankety blank. They did about three rounds worth. It was four rounds. It was more family friendly, I think, than we thought it was going to be, but it was fun still. It got progressively less family friendly, but there were still children in the audience. Thanks for hanging out with us tomorrow. We're going to see you bright and early. It's probably going to look exactly like this when we wake up in Olden.